I hope you're ready because today I'm going to show you how to make Mexican rice for a large group for selling or for meal prep. Take your tomatoes and chop them up into fourths and drop them into your blender. Add one cup of water and blend until smooth. Once you're done blending, set it to the side. I left about two cups of our blended tomato and now you just want to add your onions, garlic, and white vinegar. Since we're cooking a large quantity, the white vinegar is gonna help us achieve a fluffy rice. Go ahead and blend until smooth. Go ahead and set this to the side. Set your burner on a medium heat and add your oil. After about a minute or so, you're gonna notice that your oil is nice and hot. Go ahead and add your rice. Combine your rice into the oil and we are going to be here until our rice is nice and golden. And after about 15 minutes, you are going to get a nice toasted rice. Remember to continuously stir if you're using a clay pot. That's a very, very important tip that I can share with you. We're going to add our blended tomatoes. Our garlic and onion. Stir, stir, stir. Add your water. And stir, stir, stir. And I'm gonna be using chicken bouillon because when you're cooking for a lot of people, I mean, not all of us have this much chicken broth handy. So I think chicken bouillon is great. I'm using a tomato chicken bouillon and I am using the natural one. And that one tends to clump up if you just pour it in. So we're just gonna dissolve it into our cup and then we're gonna pour it right on in. And if I have my serious face, it's because I'm cooking for a large group. <laughs> and if the camera woman is shaking, it's because she's really excited to this. <laughs> <laughs> smells delicious. It really does smell so good. Go ahead and add your tomato chicken bouillon. If you don't want tomato chicken bouillon, that's okay. You can add regular and it'll still work. For added flavor, you can add a serrano, you can add a jalapeno, a hatched chili for spice, or if you just want that flavor, you can use Anaheim, which is what I'm using today. Now we're just gonna bring this up to a full boil. While your pot is coming to a boil, make sure to stir it periodically. I like to place parchment paper over my pot that prevents the steam from escaping. And I'm just going to place a lid over it, just like this. Continue to cook on simmer for 30 more minutes. After our 30 minutes are up, you want to let your rice set for about 20 to 30 minutes before serving. Tres, dos, uno. Let's go. And boom, done. Our rice is ready for celebrations, for meal prep, for all you busy parents and those of you adulting, for those of you making college kids some extra food. I hope that these recipes help you as much as they're gonna help our family. Now it's time to dig in to see how fluffy this rice is. I'm gonna move this chila to the side and then just show you how fluffy it is. And that's why I love using basmati rice for such a big quantity because basmati rice is so forgiving and you're never going to have mushy rice. And what do you do with the Anaheim? I like to eat it. Me too. You I like to it scrape right it. Serve it. I like to scrape it off the skin mm -hmm. and I indulge in it. And you want to dig into the sides so that all your rice remains fluffy and nothing stuck together. Okay. That's my tip to you. You're going to notice right when you remove your lid, you're going to see some of the tomato that compiled here in the side, but don't be scared of it. You're going to think, oh, this turned out mushy. No, it didn't. It did not. Just come in. And even the parts that are a little bit stuck together, you have to help them. And with basmati rice, you do have to separate it. And it's super easy to do. It just gets really fluffy. Do you see that? 
And you just want to mix it around one time and don't continue to mix. And then you just put your lid over and you guys are ready to place it for your family, ready for meal prep. Oh yeah, you can see the difference where it's settled and where you're mix helping it. Yeah. And it's still very steamy, so it's, it tends to stick, but don't be scared. This recipe is perfect and it's going to be great for all of you. Do not be scared. You got this. And this is what it looks like after we're done fluffing everything. It's just beautiful. Uh, if you're using ripe vine tomatoes, it's the best one. They get delivered from Mexico and they are absolutely delicious. But if you only have Roma, the flavor is going to change just a little bit. But I highly recommend that if you have access to the uh, vine ripe tomatoes, ooh, they really do bring the flavor. I'm going to need somebody very special to say ah. Uh, Mmm. It's thundering. We must go. I gotta go, friends. <laughs> I know some of you are thinking Steph can probably eat that whole pot. Not on this one. Not <laughs> I'm gonna on tap out. One, but together we might be able to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Bye, friends. So good. Yummy. So comforting. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. You know we absolutely adore you. Let us know how this recipe works out for you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.